One, two, three, four is my placing of this Hampshire Ram class. On my top pair, one sets himself apart as he was the most complete, most balanced of the class. He was longer from stifle to hawk and stepped more with a fuller, plumper leg. His base width allowed him to have a rounder rib design, which made him more powerful through his rack and loin. In addition, he had the longest testicular distension, which will help him last longer through breeding season. Now sure, my class winner could have stepped more foot and bone, but at the end of the day, it's his genetic potential that, puts him, that he will pass on to his offspring that puts him on top of my class. Now I do recognize that to pull more power across his chest, but he lacks too much genuine wit through his loin to move on up in the class. Yet, it's still two over three in my intermediate pair, as he was a deeper chested, heavier muscled ram that was more powerfully constructed, being more extended in his neck and wider through his pin set. Sure, three was the largest constructed ram in the ring, but, this, but the smaller testicles on this ram will test his durability through breeding season, so he stands third. But at the end of the day, it's his sheer wit through his loin and through his pin sets that makes him excel over four. Yes, four was longer sighted, but bottom line, this smaller testicle ram needs to finish with more total expression of muscling through his rack and loin, needs to finish with more genetic potency to maximize the quality of his future offspring, sorting him to the bottom of my class. Thank you.